Hey guys, I'm Alphonse. Welcome to the 20th episode of Anybody Can Code C programming series. If you'd like to take a look at the previous episodes, please use the link in the description. In today's episode, we'll be looking at 2D arrays in C programming. First, what is a 2D array? A 2D array is a multidimensional array that can be represented as a collection of rows and columns. The most common type of 2D array is a matrix. A matrix can have n number of rows and n number of columns. In the previous videos, we had looked at how to assign and access values from a 2D array. In this episode, let's look at some programs to better understand the working of a 2D array. First, let's look at matrix addition. Matrix addition is the operation of adding two matrices by adding the corresponding entries together. And both the matrices should have the same number of rows and columns. Let's take a look at an example to understand the working of matrix addition. So here we are given two matrices, matrix A and matrix B with certain values. So if you see that both the matrices have the same number of rows and columns, which is three rows and three columns. And the resultant matrix, which is the A plus B matrix also contains three rows and three columns. So we saw that the matrix addition is the addition of two matrices by adding the corresponding values together. So the value three here is obtained by adding the entries one and two from the corresponding positions. Similarly, each value in the resultant matrix is arrived by adding the corresponding values together. So now let's implement this using C. So let's go ahead and declare our variables we would need a variable called R to denote the rows and C to columns. And we would need three matrices and I'm storing the uh, resultant matrix that is the A plus B matrix in a matrix called D. So let's go ahead and get the number of rows and columns from the user. So we're done getting the number of rows and columns from the user. So now it's time to enter values into the matrix A. So we are making use of for loop to get the values from the user. So using scanf, we get the input from the user. Similarly, we need to write the similar, the same set of statements to get the values for the matrix B. So we don't have to change the rows or columns because the rows and columns are the same in both the matrices. And now it is time to add those two matrices. So we're storing the resultant value in the matrix D. And we, since we are adding the corresponding positions, this logic is pretty simple. So A of I of J plus B of I of J. 
which is stored in d of i of j. So this is the so this is the logic to add two matrices. Now let's print that matrix and see. So we just have to print the values that are in the matrix D. So let's go ahead and run our program. So I'm giving the number of rows as three and the number of columns also as three. So the values that I'm entering for matrix A are one, five, six, three, four, two, seven, nine, and five. And the values that I'm entering for matrix B is two, seven, six, one, three, two, nine, eight and one and we can see that the resultant matrix is being printed here so let's cross check with the excel sheet that we had we had so let's see if both the values are the same so we can see that it's getting calculated correctly so this is how you make use of 2d arrays to perform matrix addition Next, let's look at matrix transpose. Matrix transpose is obtained by exchanging rows to columns and columns to rows. Let's look at an example to understand the working of matrix transpose. So here we have a matrix A with values and the we are also and we can also see the transpose of matrix A here. So what happens is that the values that are in the column are transformed to the rows. So 1, 3, 7 is exchanged with the row 1 and the column 2 is exchanged with the row 2 and the column 3 is exchanged with the row 3. So this is how matrix transpose takes place. Now let's look at the code to implement the matrix transpose. So let's go ahead and declare the variables to get the rows and columns from the user and we'll only be making use of one matrix here. So let's go ahead and get the number of rows and columns from the user. So using the for loop, I'm going to uh, print the transpose of matrix A. So before that, I forgot to get the input from the user. So I'm using for loop to get the input from the user. Mm -hmm. 
and now we, we are in just printing the transpose of the matrix A. So since here transpose of matrix is obtained by exchanging rows and columns instead of giving i less than r we are going to give it as i less than c. And in the inner loop instead of giving j less than c we are going to give it as j less than r. And while printing the value also, we are going to use a of j of i, not i of j. So let's go ahead and run a program. So I'm giving the number of rows as 3 and number of columns as 3 and I'm entering the values of matrix A. And we can get the transpose of matrix. So let's look at the Excel sheet to cross verify those values. So we can see that this is the matrix that we had entered and this is the transpose of matrix and we can see the values 1, 3, 7, 5, 4, 9, 6, 2, 5 are uh, getting printed correctly. So this is how matrix transpose is performed using a 2D array. With this, we come to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we'll be looking at string basics and string functions in C programming. So stay tuned. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.